Now we we'll introduce the Wi-Fi IS232 adapter. The model number is WA-232D model. There are three power inputs for the adapter. First, the mini USB. The second is the plug terminal. The third is the P9 of the DB9. It will support up to 27 voltage DC. This is the reset to default. You will see the DC and DTE. The slide switch will swap the TX and the RX. Let's power on the adapter. You will see the two LED. The red LED means the power. The blue is the status of the Wi-Fi. The adapter is default the access point. Let's choose the MXCHIP and connect. When I connect, we, we will execute the processor. The default IP is 192.168 and 1.1. The username is admin, the same as the password admin. When you log in the web page, you will see three pages. The basic is the firmware version, MAC address, and the SSID. The adapter will execute the site survey Please click the Find IP. You will see the neighboring hood IP here. If you are connect with the IP, the adapter will become the station. The second page is the advanced. This is our IP. If you choose the neighboring SSID or Office IP, the SSID will display here. This is the DHCP. You can set the local IP here. It will support TCP server client or UDP unicast or UDP broadcast. The num default port number is A0A0. A0. The default port rate here, you can set from 1200 BPS. The parity support even or odd. The stupid support for kind of bit. The CTS will support the CTS R RTS for the flow control. For this one function, it will, it will enable the IS485 interface. For the third page, you will see all the existing settings. You can upgrade from, from where from here. Thank you.